stepping up security at a holiday market in Manhattan after a deadly crash at a Christmas market in Berlin, which German police are calling a presumed terrorist attack. The tractor trailer plowing into crowds gathered at the market Monday night. Terrified shoppers screaming as they fled. We heard an almighty bang crash from the, the left side of us, and then we saw the articulated vehicle go from our left to our right, crashing into people. Police saying it appears to have been a deliberate act. There was no signs of, of the truck slowing down at all. It, it was terrifying. Terrifying sounds so similar to what happened in uh, in France. And uh, we know that the terrorists have been encouraging uh, these lone wolf terrorists or others to get in vehicles and drive into crowds. I mean, big cities like New York, I mean, and Chicago, places like that, they must be terrified at something like this, particularly around the holidays. We're joined right now by Carrie Lucas. Carrie is the managing director at the Independent Women's Forum. Carrie, how are you? I'm doing fine, thanks. Thanks so much for having me on. Absolutely. This this terrorist attack in Berlin, I understand, uh, hits kind of close to home for you. Absolutely. You know, I was fortunate enough to get to live in Berlin for the last three years. Um, through my husband worked at the U.S. Embassy. Um, and it's such a lovely city, and the Christmas markets are such a you know, incredibly you know, beautiful and important part of the German culture and really of European culture. Um, so it's just such a it's such a sad. Um, sad day, and uh, you know, really, I feel just terrible for the folks in, Ger- in Germany and really everywhere who have to once again um, think about these things at a time when we're supposed to be, um, you know, celebrating the season. So it's a real shame. Well, it, you know, not only that, but I mean, having having lived there, um, you know, for people who've traveled, they're going to understand this a little more. But but if you haven't been to Europe a great deal, d- yeah. Foot, foot traffic is is the way a lot of people get around over there, and and absolutely. these right. Am I correct about that? And these markets yeah, are kind absolutely. of a place where people yeah, congregate. Absolutely. And you know, something else, I wonder if Americans appreciate it. So it's um, one thing that Europe has, um, really, that's different, and that I fear will be going away because of events like this. Um, is this kind of shocking lack of security? You know, you go into these um, these fabulous, ornate, beautifully laid out Christmas markets. Um, and sometimes you have to pay an entrance fee of a, a euro or something, um, but often you just can wander in. Um, there's stands that are all serving this um, hot wine. They really don't. They don't check IDs. It's you know you're given glasses. There's none of kind of. I feel like in the U.S. you're used to there being security guards and wristbands and um, you know people kind of um, monitoring these things. Where um, Germany is incredibly open in every way, um, and that's something you know something lovely about that. You can come and go as you please. Uh, it's it's um, you know, but here we are. Uh, this is you know entirely predictable. I remember us worrying about this last year when we were at Christmas markets because you see these giant crowds, you know, packed with um, with happy tourists um, celebrating a Christian um, holiday and um, this Western <laughs> this kind of Western life. Um, it did seem like a, a, a delicious target for people who want to do evil. Like it sounds like this came true. So it's really it's just quite sad. What was the obvious side of the refugee? Uh issue in germany when you live there because obviously we've seen the brexit vote there's consternation about the the open borders policy and and the policy by merkel uh, the chancellor to basically welcome people in with open arms Uh, you don't get the impression from this side of the pond that there's a lot of vetting going on Uh, are people in germany concerned about it the average folks you would run into over there um, they were. I think everybody was getting increasingly concerned. I think that a lot of people, um, you know, started with, uh, you know, it's, it's, you know, it's easy for me to criticize or for us to say, well, you guys are crazy, but it's really a lovely instinct. They really thought, hey, you know, we can help people and let a bunch of people in need in. Um, they didn't, you know, I think that the terrorist um, threat, um, unlike Americans, still seemed kind of um, theoretical. And, um, and but then this incident started happening. You know, we had the the attacks on New Year's Eve with all the sexual violence, um, and that was a problem, you know, not just in those events, that um, that one um, rash of events uh, surrounding New Year's, but was kind of a theme around at refugee centers. And I think there was some recognition of, okay, wait a second, you know, these guys aren't all sympathetic. And, and you know, I think there's also, you know, even though we can all imagine and, and you know, I accept that most of the refugees are good people who really want to start, you know, on a positive life, it doesn't take that many people to do a whole lot of damage, and the Germans were not doing very much to try to sort out who was who. 
Um, we know that a lot of bad guys got in, um, and that this was, you know, this this isn't. I was kind of shocked. <laughs> I was shocked that Angela Merkel used the word shocked um, in her in um, following these events. You see, she said she was shocked and saddened. Well, saddened, yes, but shocked, no. Everybody has been worrying about this. There's been specific threats on Christmas markets um, for a long time now, so um, they shouldn't be shocked. They've known this is coming, um, and really, if the question is now, like, what what can they do? It's it's really. Um, it's very unfortunate. I don't know. I don't know what the answer is and how they kind of can put this toothpaste back in the tube if if, if, if that's that's not all possible. No, no, I don't know either. And and I guess I'm not quite sure what to blame it on because she and Barack Obama are like two peas in a pod when it comes to their attitude toward this. Uh, Hillary Clinton, for that matter, as well, in in believing that. You know, we th- this these are our values. This is what we stand for. These are people in need. We're going to take them in. At the same time, you've got intelligence agencies reporting that th- they're they're talking about using this refugee crisis as a Trojan horse to bring radicals into these countries. I don't know. I'm like you. I'm not quite sure how in the world they could be surprised by it and why they wouldn't already be planning to do something to prevent any more of them from coming. Exactly. You know, and I think, I do think that, that there's, um, you know, the Western world has to, I think Germans in particular, obviously because of their history, um, are very um, uh, um, reticent to, to say anything, you know, pro-German or uh, they are apologizing, I think, a lot for their culture um, because of their, their, you know, their terrible history with World War II. But it's time for kind of the West to be ready to say, you know what, um, there are very good things about Western culture, um, such as our respect for women, for, um, for minority groups. For religious freedom, for for gays and, and lesbians, this is you know these are things that we're supposed to value. Liberals are supposed, to, particularly supposed to value this. If you let in a lot of people who don't believe those things and are actively um, you know trying to to bring down Western society, that's really going to hurt a lot of people who we are all, all are supposed to help. Um, you know, I was I found it just completely bizarre um, that in Germany, which is so committed to. Um, uh, to individual rights when it comes to um, you know, minorities and to women, um, that they were you know, seemed to be so blasé about this idea of, oh, sure, we can let in a bunch of folks that think that women should be covered and aren't supposed to like, vote or walk around, or you know, these men would come in and refuse to accept um, uh, women doctors um, or right. sit at tables with women, um, or if they, had to, if they were in a swimming pool with women, would end up assaulting them. You know, that's a big problem. We shouldn't, you know, we need to, if we're going to integrate, um, you need to move pretty slowly and take in small populations, make sure they actually are embracing the culture. They weren't doing that in Germany. I think that's, I think that's the big mistake, and numbers definitely matter when it comes to the ability to integrate um, and to police this situation. You know, with a million refugees, or more than that now, I believe, um, you know, that's a lot of, even if it's a 1%, it's a lot of bad apples out there and hard for them to keep track of um, so I think the Germans have have their work cut out for them, and it's going to be a real moment of soul searching of where they go from here. Yeah, it's a great point. Uh, Carrie Lucas uh, with the uh, Independent Women's Forum. Thank you. Uh, I direct people to iwf.org to read more on their writings. Uh, Carrie, a uh, Merry Christmas to you. Thanks for joining us. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you very much. Uh, good. Good to have Carrie on here. What this gives.